A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country in the form of newsstand obscenity. It is threatening to pervert an entire generation of our American children. They constantly portray abnormal sexual behavior as being normal. They glorify unnatural sex acts. You must realize that they are constantly exposed to those who do read this material and who might be triggered into compulsive acts of sex violence. Well, at this point, my friends, I wish to make it clear that the obscenity I'm talking about and the examples that I'm about to show you were not bought on the sly from under the counter. They were not purchased on Skid Row or on the other side of the tracks. We know that once a person is perverted, it is practically impossible for that person to adjust to normal attitudes in regard to sex. Wow, right. this one's from 10 years ago almost. It is? Oh my god, you're right, it's 2009. Hey guys, how's it going? Request, Minotaur. Blah. Okay, this one's me. This one is like very strong looking. This one looks very tough. I gotta, I, love I, it. I gotta admit, most of these monster girls, they don't like, they're never really seen as tall. Like most of the time, they're always shorter than the man. Except maybe like, maybe the high orc, but I'm just assuming on that one. The chimera is taller than men. Okay, cool. Yeah, this one looks really tough. This one looks strong. Okay, Minotaur. Does it have like a scar? Pull the picture up. Yeah, it looks like it does on its face, but that might just what, be something else. What does else. Joe Rogan always say? Pull that shit up. Uh... Pull that shit up, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it, but like maybe not. Yeah, it's like a kind of a scar. Cause it's not a. It's not hair. Yeah, maybe it's a scar. Cause she's a tough like battle woman too. Those belts are dumb though. It looks like something Tetsuo Nomura designed. Like the weird like belt pants. Look at those dumb belt pants. The dumb belt pants. Look no, at the belt pants. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're just around the around the legs, around the thighs. I don't. I'm not sure what the purpose of them is. They're just kind of there. And then the ones around the, the arms. I don't know. Well, that's the ones around the arm is to accentuate how fucking beefy her arms are. <laughs> okay. Beefy. Get it? Cause she's a, a bull. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna go ahead and and, uh, and steal Cut your that. steal. Yeah. <laughs> This this uh, this thread uh, this uh, article actually this article seems like it's for you but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make fun of this this gross no, catwoman don't make fun of her uh, habitat plains caves dungeons and labyrinths this uh, definitely like a, a minotaur would definitely be in dungeons and labyrinths More uh, like plains caves and automobiles am I <laughs> <laughs> good job no <laughs> no you fucked up you fucked up no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How embarrassing. Am I right, Z Brothers? <laughs> Will he ever be able to recover from a blunder like that? No. Oh boy. Disposition aggressive, ferocious. Diet omnivorous, mainly prefers meat. Huh, I'm you sure don't it say. Does. Mm. It's kind of weird though that like a cow person prefers meat, but like I guess we'll just. It eats the protein. Yeah. Uh, a beastman type monster with the characteristics of an ox. They are monster warriors that have freakish strength and can effortlessly swing enormous weapons. Their temperament is extremely rough, and since they don't think much, <laughs> their actions are guided by emotions. <laughs> just like my ex wife. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> They're exceedingly dangerous monsters. They're extremely ferocious, and when they spot a human man or the liking, they practically charge in and assault him immediately in an effort to force intercourse. <laughs> Just like my ex wife. <laughs> so, she's an ex. Yep. Uh, she took my house. Anyway. Since they balance stam okay, since they have balanced stamina, they take much pleasure in <laughs> unilaterally raping men, and they like rough sex. That sounds like that one guy that was on To Catch Predator. Oh yeah, you <laughs> look at the Minotaur's bio, and it just says, "I like rape." <laughs> Once they get a hold of a man, he'll be forced to go along with it until he becomes exhausted and passed out. And also, since they get aroused when they see color red and become even more ferocious, if you're wearing red clothes, it's almost guaranteed that you'll be targeted by these vicious beasts that have nothing in mind but greedily devouring a phallus. <laughs> So you should be careful. This sounds like a like a. It sounds like a, a, a nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Like you should be careful. Mm. I was thinking like a like a jackass prank where it's like you gotta run through a field of minotaurs wearing all red. Oh my god! And make it out Alive. intact. 
In this way, they're extremely dangerous monsters, but actually, they're often encountered sleeping. They spend most day, most of their day sleeping like a piranha plant. <laughs> just gotta creep around it. After eating, they pretty much just go back to sleep right then and there. Something mi something minor won't wake them up. Also, after having sex with a human man, if they like a man, they'll fall asleep while embracing him. <laughs> so they can't get away. Such a man won't be released. He'll start being treated as their husband. <laughs> just fall asleep on top of you, knowing that she's too big that you can't get her off her. <laughs> They tend to be very lazy. Only rarely do they take an active interest in anything other than eating, sleeping, and sex. On the contrary, they have powerful interest in these three things. <laughs> 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 well, you know, I guess if you're only interested in a few things, at least, at least you're passionate about it. <laughs> Food, sleep, and sex are the only things that are always on their mind. Especially after getting a husband, they all become almost entirely occupied with having sex with them. Their daily life with their husband will be largely spent having sex with them aside from when they're eating or sleeping. <laughs> it's, like that, it's like that book, uh, Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> eat, only, eat, sleep, book. Eat, sl eat, sleep, uh, pray for your, for your bones. <laughs> Just, just imagine the guy like being like, hey, uh, I know you're sitting on top of me. Are we going to do anything today? He was like, well, yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it is said that when they go to sleep, sleeping while embracing their husband makes them happier than anything else. After having plenty of sex during the day and becoming exhausted, they will sleep peacefully and their husband embrace in their arms. Especially once they wake and see the dear face of their beloved in their arms, they'll go and ravish him from the first thing in the morning. They do, their day starts with rough sex with, with their man the first thing after rising. They'll continue to have sex until sunset. They'll hug their man and go back to sleep again with pleasant fatigue. <laughs> Rinse, wash, repeat. Oh, wow. Uh, trivia, this monster is based on the Minotaur, a Greek myth logical creature that was half man half bull. The Minotaur was imprisoned by King Minos in the labyrinth and was eventually killed by the hero Theseus. So, I can tell you really like this one, Perez. Yeah. It's funny, when I was reading like the latter half of it, I was thinking of that one story in Greek mythology where uh, I think it was in the Odyssey, you know, whenever they're trapped in the cage, in the cave by the, the Lotus the Eaters? centaur, not the centaur, the cyclops. Oh, yeah. And they try to get out, except it's like they're trapped in the cave by a minotaur. And he's like, oh, you gotta, all y'all gotta get a turn before you leave. <laughs> you all gonna get it. <laughs> if I find one of you, time to get foot. <laughs> <laughs> There's always always all those dumb unity horror games where it's like try to sneak around without getting seen by the scary monsters. I want one where it's like try to sneak around but the monster's like if I find you I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> That'll be fear for you and man. I want you to squeal like a pig. <laughs> Do you get that reference? Do you get the reference? Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually. That's from that one movie, Misery, right? No, that's a different movie. Is it? No, Misery is the one where, like, that lady breaks the author's legs. Um, yeah. What's the one where, with the squeal like a pig? Um, you're right, it is something in that same vein. Yeah. Um, oh, we're gonna look like Dumbos. How about this? Just have the name of the movie on the screen, like, right now. Okay. And so, we'll, we'll look even dumber trying to, like, think of what it is. Yeah, but in that one... Because it is, like, Misery. It's something like that. Is, isn't, isn't the thing in that one, though, like, like red nips, Rednecks? Red Red Nips. Yes, the Red Nips. <laughs> That rednecks rape a dude? Yeah. Oh. On the on the arcade machine. No, that's a different movie. Is it? Are you thinking of that one South Park episode where I like am. yes, exactly. That's oh a my god. Of that movie, isn't it? No, that's a different movie. That's the movie with Jodie Foster. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, let's, okay, okay. You know what? We're recording. We might as well. We're, and we're done with the article. Uh, so my thoughts on it are basically that yeah, this is a big beefy woman, and if you're into it, this is probably your ten out of ten. It is. So a ten out of ten. And uh, this guy seems really happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one. Uh, I'll give this one. Uh... This is very much not your aesthetic. Yeah, I'll get. Mm, I'm. I'm like in between. I'll give it seven and a half. Cause this is this is like a pretty high quality rough one, but like this one's pretty good. Okay, let's uh, okay now let's find out this movie we're trying to figure out. Okay, so the movie with Jodie Foster was. You know what? I wonder if I can just look up that one scene. Deliverance. Deliverance. That's what it was. Deliverance I found is it the first. one. I win. Okay, so the movie Deliverance, not the movie Misery. Misery. Or that one. Or that, or that one movie with Jodie Foster. Cause I know me and you were both thinking of that one South Park episode with Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we got mixed up. What's George Lucas doing to Indiana Jones? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, because that was with Spielberg and, and George Lucas. Yeah. Man. 
All and right. also also referenced in the in the Plink and Star Wars movie reviews. It is. Yeah. Oh He's yeah. Like, Let me show you the way. She's not asking to be shown where the pinball machine is. <laughs> oh god. All right. So that was, that was their thoughts on the mentor. I don't think you even need to say anything. I think it's established that you really enjoy this type of monster. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. This is my aesthetic. Yeah. Honestly, the only downside is, is the whole only sleeping and eating thing. Well, that seems to, that's the case with some of them. I mean, the ones that Not are like the Slamamander, the Slamamander, Slamamander, the Slapamander. Oh, it seems like these ones that are dumb, dumb boneheads. Dumb, these dumb ones. boneheads. <laughs> they got the concave skulls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got the 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 like the dip it in their brain. <laughs> All right, so that was that request. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, Please request more uh, big, tough, brown monster waifus. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Uh, mm-hmm. Halloween. Boo, boo, boo. Bye, bye. Yeah, I was gonna say something else, but I totally forgot. So happy Halloween. Goodbye. See one more thing. One.